I'm a triple negative breast cancer warrior, currently going through chemotherapy, lost my hair, I'm getting used to it now, but I do have an absolutely fabulous medical wig that I'm going to show you guys today. I got my medical wig from Joyce O'Carroll at Wig World in Waterford. I did buy a few other items from Joyce when I was there at Wig World and one of them was this, which is a little cap, a little comfortable cap to wear under the wigs. I think that was about 15 euros and it has bamboo with aloe vera on it so it's nice and kind of cooling and nice comfortable thing to wear under wigs. The funny thing is, although my head is shaved, like it, I'm not completely bald yet and when I put things like this on it's kind of a strange kind of staticky kind of velcro-y feeling on my head. Okay, I can just imagine that I look like Cousin It right now but I just have to sort it out and make sure that the liner underneath it is kind of hidden. Took that under. Fake roots on it, I'm not sure if you can see there. So it's kind of almost similar to my old hair. This stand came included with a wig. If you don't get a stand with your medical wig, I would basically tell you to get one because it's great for storage. It will keep it in good condition. Also, don't put hair bobbins in your wigs. Clips like this are a lot better, they'll damage the wig a lot less. While I was at Wig World, I also made sure to get a synthetic hair conditioner and a synthetic hair shampoo. So I will be using these on this wig and on my fashion wigs as well. I found it to be a very personalised experience at Wig World. For my consultation, I brought my mother and my aunt along. I think it's really good to have a second opinion there, especially if you're still in shock with your diagnosis. I liked that Joyce wanted to see me while I still had hair. She wanted to find out what my preference was. I tried on a lot of different styles. I talked about different lengths, textures that I liked. When I went back to collect my wig, I had a little bit of a style on the wig, a couple of layers put in. If you're living in Ireland, the HSC can offer you grants, money off wigs, which is really, really helpful because medical wigs are so expensive. The money you can get off the wigs depends on what county you live in, so I would try look into that. I have a little bit of information in the description of my video. Hopefully, in time, I'll get a little bit faster putting on my medical wig. But I'm going to end this video now because I think I'm in the middle of going through a hot flush. I'm a little bit red. This just wasn't excessive blusher I put on. It's early temporary menopause, I think, from Zolodex. But you know what? I'm one of these rare people that actually enjoy this because I was too cold beforehand. I'll talk to you all soon.